So Blitz Scaling Ventures is a venture capital fund that invests in the fastest growing startups that have been backed by the top VCs in the world. We look for companies that we think could be 10 or $100 billion dollar winners, and we work with their CEOs to build those companies. And obviously you've done very well during COVID. Uh, you've, you've jumped over the bulk of it, and you've come out successful on the other end. What are your key success factors? So the thing about the COVID pandemic is, first of all, of course, it's been a terrible thing, and we certainly wish that it never happened. But it ended up being an unexpected positive for venture funds like us. So we began the fundraising process during COVID. And what this meant is that we were able to do almost all of our fundraising via Zoom. This is actually the first trip that I have taken in over 15 months. And meanwhile, during that time, we'd raised $20 million from various investors, all via Zoom. So that's been enormous, and it's allowed me to really do all this without traveling nearly as much. That being said, it was nice to get a chance to travel and come here to Monaco. And uh, what's, what are your plans for the next 12 months? So for the next 12 months, obviously, we're going to finish raising the fund. We are two-thirds of the way through. Probably this conference will help us get a lot way towards the finish line. And then we'll continue to invest in great entrepreneurs. We just invested in a great entrepreneur last month. We're looking forward to more. And by the way, we met some great entrepreneurs here, too. And what makes Sir Anthony's conferences so special? What makes Sir Anthony's conferences so special is the fact that there is this sense of family and community. This is the 15th family office summit that the Ratosa family has put together. And you can tell because there are people who have been here time after time. It's not just a business conference, it's a chance for family members to get together and see each other, especially in this post-COVID time. And so seeing the togetherness, seeing the way that people really were reacting and, and being so happy seeing each other again, that was a great positive.